Welcome to the Floral POS version 2.18. We're actually uh, going to go over a new feature we added to the program called Shop to Shop Transfer. Now what that is, is um, a lot of our shops, or I'd say a handful of our shops, maybe more, have uh, owned more than one location. And they want the capability to be able to send an order from location one to location two, or two to three, or so on and so forth. So what we've done is we created a, an actual uh, a tool built in the wire side of the program that allows you to take an order and kind of like wire it or send it, transfer it to your second shop or your third shop. So that's basically um, what it is. I'm going to show you a little bit of the backside, behind the scenes stuff that needs to be configured. Um, the configuration of it, it's going to be handled by uh, the Floral POS support team. So you don't have to worry about that. All you have to worry about is, did my order get sent, and did it get accepted, all that good stuff. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is uh, when you go into control panel here, there's a brand new icon under system configuration called shop order expert config. This icon's kind of been there for the last couple of releases, so if you've been playing around, I'm sure you saw it. Um, what it is is basically that's where the configuration of the shop or they're called S2S the shop transfer to shop uh, services set up as you can see here it looks like a lot of stuff again you're not gonna really have to worry about this uh, my support staff will take care of it for you basically what we do is we set up an email for your shop and then that email basically goes out and checks for orders coming in which is really nice uh, one of the things that you definitely do want to make sure is running is this service the service basically checks every three minutes to see if you have any new orders that got transferred to you or any messages and then on the left hand side here you have your alerts similar to wire alerts you can send get yourself an alert via email via text message uh, you can have the message center send you something or even the system tray as well so it looks a little complicated but actually it's not uh, again we'll, we'll take care of that for you i'm going to x out of here uh, one thing also you'll notice is under shop locations you're going to add all the locations or shops that you guys have as you can see here, I have shop number one. That's my location. That's where my shop is located. Shop number two is going to be the second location that I own, and three and four, however many you have here. You have to actually populate your shops that you own inside of here. This is going to be kind of like your wired service directory. So when you go to select uh, a shop, your, your shops will actually be in here. Okay, so let's actually get down to what you guys are going to be using it for, sending a, a delivery order or a pickup over to your other shop. So what you're going to do is I'm going to actually run through a delivery order, like normal, do like a fruit basket for Tim Bell, send it to our recipient, put some delivery instructions in here, all that good stuff, go ahead and pay for it like normal. And the order is closed out. So the customer leaves and we find out when we go into this order we're like oh man I can't really deliver it but my other shop could deliver it pretty well it's closer to them. So all you have to do is you're gonna do a convert you're gonna do a wire convert we're gonna go ahead and click on wire you want to convert to wire out yes it actually has a new pop-up box and this is actually is for all wire wire uh, converts it's gonna ask you do you want to add you know no wire service fee S2S orders or add a wired service fee. So in the future, if you had a wire, you know, a delivery or convert into a wire out, you could actually select this and you know, you, uh, put your default fee in there. If you want to add more or reduce it, you could do it at that point. I'm going to say no, hit continue. It's going to automatically convert this to a wire out. As you can see, my service charge is zero down below here. So we got to send it out like a wire. So I'm just going to click on the little globe down the lower left hand side here. I'm going to drop down this menu here and I'm going to select shop order transfer. I'm going to click on select florist and you can see right now I only have one shop in here even though I have two in the shop locations it's only going to show you my location up top and then it's going to show me the other available shops that I own. So I'm going to hit select and then I'm going to hit send. That's that easy so it sent it all you do is X out now and it automatically puts the information at the bottom of your screen. It also puts the wire number up here in the upper right. As you can see, the wire number is like the same as the order number, but it has dash S2S on it. 
So I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. And I'm going to actually close out of the Ogre browser. And I'm going to put this, I'm going to uh, pause the video. And then when the actual service goes through, you'll see the alert down below here. All right. So as you can see down below, shop number two, even though I'm, I'm actually doing everything in one shop, but this would be shop number two would see this on their, um, their little message center. So it says S2S new order transferred to your shop and it says order number. So you can actually click on the action button, like a wire out or a wire in, I mean, and you have the accept reject button. Well, I don't have the reject button program. If you click on it, it'll basically say unable to un, you can't reject. I don't know why you would, but you're going to click on the accept button. The reason I have accept reject so that the accept when you hit it, when you click on it, it automatically sends a message back to your shop one saying, hey, I got it. That way they don't have to call you and say, hey, did you get this, you know? So let's go ahead and hit accept. And if you have the print, the print options selected, which I do, it's going to automatically print a little paper out for you saying that you accepted it. But there we go. Wire in 133S2S accepted. And now you can actually work on this and and print it out if you need to and all that good stuff. So if you notice down below here, uh, you know, like every other order, when you click on the globe for a wire in or for a wire out, you're going to see that there's a, a little, looks like an email icon here and it shows you a number next to it. This is basically the amount of messages that are actually um, saved on this order. So if I click on this, you're going to see there's a couple of messages here. And, you know, there's an order out, order in, and order accept. So obviously um, because I'm doing everything as one shop, you'd only really see your order in and order accept messages. But uh, that's besides the point. So I'll go ahead and close out of here. And I'm going to actually pause the video one more time and you'll see the next message that comes back here will be the order accept message on the shop one side. So they'll see that the order was accepted. All right. So as you can see down below, um, it says S2S order accepted. It says that the order was accepted. All you do is click on the action button again. It'll actually open up the order so you can look at the order. It automatically closes out as you can see. Let me go ahead and X out of here. They automatically hides the message so it's gone now on every station as well. So that's basically in a nutshell. As you can see, I was able to send the order and I received it um, right through our new system that we created. Um, it's basically called Shop Order Transfer. I would say that uh, not too many shops are going to be using this that are single shops, but our shops that are bigger that have multiple shops are going to love this feature. It's pretty nice. So we look forward to your feedback. Um, watch this video over and over again until you you know you, you understand how to do it or um, you know once you get it we'll configure it for you but call us at 888-865-9768 to get you started on this or you can email us at support at floralpos.com thanks for listening to this video and uh, we'll talk to you later